Picture this, it's Friday evening. You're at the end of your shift. You're going out with the boys, it's gonna be good. It's payday. You're watching the clock and it's just about to strike 5 p.m. You're checked out mentally, you are ready to go. You're ready to go and have a good night. You can't wait, you've been waiting for this, right? And then, as soon as you're about to exit that door, your boss pulls you up and says, uh, Alex, can you, uh, can you cover uh, Becky's shift tomorrow? She, she can't work. Come on, we can always count on you. Come on, you don't let us down. I'll make it worth a while. And in that split second, you have this internal conflict of, you want to say no, but you abide and you say yes. Now, why does this happen? You feel resentful. You don't feel good about yourself. What does that make you when you can't say no? It makes you a nice guy. It makes you a people pleaser. So in today's video, we're going to get into the psychology, the reasonings as to why this is so common in today's society and what you can do to stop being a people pleaser and actually start living life on your own terms. So to start the video off, we need to distinguish what is a people pleaser, what is a nice guy. So like the first example, it's basically your inability to say no, to put yourself first to face the conflict or the potential tension of having this kind of conflict with another person because you you're, you don't want to create conflict with them. What's happening is you're basically being agreeable. Now the issue here is agreeable people are boring to be around. If you're a yes guy, if you're agreeable with everything and everyone, you're boring, you're not interesting because there's no difference of opinion. There's no different substance there. There's nothing to discover, to discuss, to debate. So that is partly due as to why you could be labeled a people pleaser is because you are high in agreeableness. Now, how do we get disagreeable? Well, first, before we get into that, the reason why you don't want to be a people pleaser is because, like I said before, you're not gonna get anywhere in life. But what happens is, when you say yes and you want to say no, resentful. You end up resentful, not just toward yourself, but to the person that you've done the favor for. Because that person, unbeknownst to them, they have no idea that you did not want to do that. They just thought, oh, they've got no issue saying no. You know, if they want to say no, they just say it, right? But they're not you, you're not them. And so there's this ignorance of information going on and that, is gonna, and in the background of that, resentment is gonna bubble up inside you, <sighs> bubble up inside you towards that person and yourself. And what will happen on a later date, you might have seen this example, sometimes people will just burst out in a state of anger in a, a small trivial matter of, of discussion or some, some kind of, um, in some kind of disagreement. And what's happening there is that person has basically said yes far too many times when they wanted to say no. And every time you do that, you're feeding what Carl Jung referred to, the psychologist, your shadow. So everybody has a dark side. And when you say yes, you're feeding this dark side because you're not allowing it to express itself. And what happens is, like we were saying, people will just get this outburst of this anger, like, ah, I don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, what is going on? And it's because this person was not able to address it in the beginning and say no. So second of that as well, you're going to have no respect. You're going to have no respect from those around you. They're just going to see you as a pushover, as a yes man, as a person who's always there, who's never going to say no and can always count on. And people don't respect that. People will think, oh, Alex, Alex will do it. He always says yes, he never disappoints. Not only that, you're gonna have no self-respect. So you're not gonna respect yourself. And when that happens, how are you gonna be able to achieve your goals? If you don't respect yourself, if you don't set boundaries, how are you gonna achieve your goals? You're not gonna be able to because you haven't said, look, I can't do this because I'm doing this. And you shouldn't feel bad for that because we're nice guy syndrome, we're this people pleaser, personality is set, is in childhood. So a lot of the reason as to why we are the way we are is because of our childhood and our upbringing in that childhood. 
So what happens with people pleasers in their childhood, it can stem from several things, but one of the main ones is abandonment, fear of abandonment from your parents, from your friends, but mostly from your parents. So look back into your childhood and with this example, think of, let's say, as a child, I'm at a dinner table and my parents tell me to, shh, Alex, stop making that noise. Now that is classed as a traumatic experience. That experience is gonna program your subconscious to set these paradigms, patterns, and behaviors as to how to act later on in life. And all that's doing as a child is it's saying, okay, when we do X behavior, Y happens. So let's do that, let's not do that. And we learn to suppress these emotions. We learn to suppress what is not favorable, what is perhaps ups upsetting our parents or those around us. So we suppress that, we put it in the shadow. And then what happens later on is that, like we said, it comes out, the shadow comes out in a burst of anger in an argument, or we end up a people pleaser because we've learned that in order to have the love and validation from our parents, we have to be nice because when we're nice, this happens, something good happens. It's positive reinforcement. So just keep that in mind if you're struggling with this, because personally for me, I think a lot of people struggle with this. I struggled with this, learning to say no and in fear of rejection, because we all just want to be liked. It's human nature. We don't want to be cast outside of the tribe. Back thousands of years ago, you know, tribalism was a real thing, and it still is today, but on a lesser degree. But if you're cast outside of the tribe nowadays, whether that be your, your work group or not, you're not going to die. You're not going to be killed. But yet, our primal brain still thinks that and it can't distinguish from modern day to thousands of years ago. And this is partly why, again, we have people pleasers. We just want to be liked. We just want to be accepted. We want to be validated. But this is not conducive to our own personal fulfillment in life. And the last main point I want to make was how people pleasers and nice guys are made. So we mentioned it's childhood, it's part of abandonment, it's part of seeking validation from the loved ones around you, particularly your parents. Um, and the last point is, it's gonna be rooted in unworthiness. So you don't feel worthy of your own self-respect. You don't feel worthy of, well, you're in fear of feeling unworthy, should I say. You're in fear of anger. You're in fear of the conflict. And this is why we try and, if I'm nice, then everybody's gonna be nice back to me. But we know that's not how the world works. And like I keep saying, you're just gonna end up frustrated, resentful, and that is just not conducive to a happy life. So what is the solution here? How do you get past being a people pleaser? And basically, to sum it up, be selfish. You have to be selfish so you can be selfless later. Because often today, it's connotated that selfishness is a bad thing you shouldn't be selfish you shouldn't you should always look after others and cater to others needs and be selfless but what happens is you spread yourself too thin you're trying to cater to this person needs and this person needs you don't want to disappoint and what's going to happen is you're going to burn yourself out you're going to be exhausted and like i've said you're going to be resentful you're going to be angry all these negative emotions that's just not going to help anyone people aren't going to want to be around you because one you're agreeable but two <sighs> You might, you might implode in, in some resentment because of this. So how we be selfish is learn to start saying no and not feeling bad for it. Now, this is going to take a bit of time because it's took so many years of programming of natural automatic response just to say yes. So the first time you say no, the first time you are faced with conflict, what's going to happen is you're going to have this really uneasy feeling in the pit of your stomach. You might get a bit flustered because you have to stand your ground, maybe a fight or flight response because you're not used to this potential conflict, this tension that's going on. But it's that tension that is gonna make you grow as a person. Get comfortable in that tension because it's not necessarily a bad thing, this tension. There's a lot to be said for people who can bear the discomfort of this tension and stand their ground, stand their corner. People will respect you more for it. That's the paradoxical thing about not being nice all the time. It's obviously, don't be a dickhead about it. Be nice when you want to be nice and it's of no expense to you. But when your, when your amount of niceness 
are particular to the person, so you're not just giving them out carelessly, your favours should I say, then the quality or the value of that favour or of that kind, nice gesture that you did someone suddenly goes up. Think about it when, let's say, someone of a high status or someone above you in the hierarchy of work, like your boss, obliges to do you a favour, okay? You really appreciate that because he doesn't have to. He said no in the past previously. He says no on very often occasions to other people. So for him to say yes for you, how do you feel? You respect them more, you're like, oh, thank you, I really, really appreciate that, because you didn't have to do it. Whereas, like I said, someone who's always agreeable, someone who's always saying yes, someone who's always a people pleaser, a nice guy, we don't appreciate that, we don't, we don't, we don't care about that. So, coming back to the solution of being selfish, another way to start ingraining this is start off small, in a healthy manner, so the small things, leading on to the big things. Like I said, don't be a dickhead, don't take it to the extreme, but you really need to start learning to put yourself first and just not feeling bad for it. Because at the end of the day, like I've said, people are gonna respect you for it more, you're gonna feel better, you're not gonna be resentful, and also you're gonna be more of use to those around you because you've put yourself first, you've built yourself up, you've set barriers, and you've been able to achieve your goals because of that. And now you can be of use to the ones around you, your family, your friends, all because you learned to say no. So the next time you're faced with the proposition of doing someone a favour, don't. If you really don't want to, don't. Don't feel bad for it. You do you, because in the end, if that person really respects you, really likes you, they will understand where you're coming from. And if they don't, fuck him, then you've weirded out the people that are there just to manipulate and use you. So that's been today's videos, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stop being a nice guy. Don't be a people pleaser and learn to say no. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.